This is going to be Proverbs chapter 3, starting in verse 13. And we're going to look at the subject of benefits of walking with God. There are men who walk with God in the Bible. One of them is Enoch. In Genesis 5.24, it says, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Genesis 6.9 says, And Noah walked with God. So God took Noah to heaven, and he saved Noah from the flood. So you see, these are already benefits to walking with God. As a Christian, you need to walk with God. Galatians 5.16 says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So if you're going to walk with God, then you're not going to fulfill your fleshly desires. But let's go to Proverbs 3, starting in verse 13, and look at benefits to walking in the Spirit, that is, walking with God. Proverbs 3.13 says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Now this is wisdom that you get from walking with the Lord. You get this from serving God, seeking God, praying to God, reading His Word, and just spending time with Him. That is how you find wisdom, and if you seek it, you will find it. The book of James says in chapter 1 and verse 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. That giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So how awesome is that, that you can ask God to give you wisdom, and he will give it to you if you seek it. Then you'll be happy if you put it in practice. When you have wisdom and put the wisdom in practice, that shows understanding. Because if you use the wisdom the Lord has given you, then you will depart from evil. As it says in Job twenty-eight twenty-eight, And in the man, he said, Behold the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom, and depart from evil is understanding. Evil works bring trouble, sorrow, death, broken hearts, broken bones, and everything that you want to avoid. Make sure you're trying to get understanding because trying to get the things of this world only leads to a broken road. Proverbs thirteen fifteen: Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. It's, you make life harder by making bad decisions. Proverbs 3, 13 and 14. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. So the merchandise of wisdom and understanding. You can't get with silver and gold what you can get with wisdom and understanding. You might buy a lot of material things, but wisdom and understanding brings repentance. Wisdom and understanding brings things like a happy marriage, things that you just that are worth more than money. A consistent walk with the Lord produces happiness. Another benefit of walking with the Lord is fulfillment. In Proverbs three fifteen it says she is more precious than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. When you sit down and think about all the things you would like to have in this life, none of these things can compare to what you get from wisdom and understanding. These are more precious than rubies. There's no comparison. Your wildest dream or fantasy could it compare to what you get when you find wisdom and get understanding. 1 Corinthians 2, nine says, But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath, get, hath prepared for them that love him. 2 Corinthians 4.18, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So if you have a consistent walk with the Lord, then your mind is on setting up treasures in heaven and not here on earth. You know that nothing can compare to it. Nothing can fulfill like the things of God and the things that God gives for doing so. When you really get into the Bible, a flashy Hollywood movie just won't satisfy you anymore. The newest rock CD won't satisfy you anymore. It is the Bible and preaching and good fellowship that will satisfy you. Only walking with the Lord brings fulfillment. And next, the benefit of walking with the Lord is a long life. In Proverbs 3.16, it says, Length of days is in our right hand, and in our right left hand is riches and honor. 
in our left hand riches and honor. If you stop and think about all the commands that God gives you in the Bible are for your own good. God says to listen to your parents. But they're wiser, you see. They know how to love more than you do. They know how to live more than you do. They know how to work in the workplace more than you do. They know more about this life than you do. It's a wise decision to listen to your parents. It would be wise and beneficial to the length of your life if you listen to them. There are exceptions, but for the most part, the rule is true. God says not to commit adultery. He says to abstain from fornication. But I mean, sexual sins lead to STDs. They lead to jealous husbands. These things are bad for your health. Listen to wisdom. You find it in the Bible. Wise decisions lead to a long life. Foolish decisions lead to death. You look at some people and they make unwise decisions. They get on drugs. That's not good for length of days. They hang out with deadly people. That hurts their length of days. They listen to filthy music. They watch filthy movies. And they don't acknowledge God's existence. So they are on a deadly path. But I guess it's okay since, you know, they got a mask on. That's really going to take care of them. They don't want to get the corona, but they'll go out and drink and drive. That's how crazy people are. They're worried about getting the corona, so they got a mask on, yet they're going to go out and get lit, as they say, Friday. And then probably get in a car. Uh, but they might have worldly wisdom. But they don't have the wisdom that comes from reading the Bible. They would do what they can to keep from getting the coronavirus to preserve their life, but they don't keep the commandments of God to have length of days. Their mind is completely on the things of this world. But what else is a benefit of walking with God? Another thing is peace. Proverbs 3.17 says, Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. You may have money, women, cars, houses, clothes, Things like that, but where is your peace? You may have a big kingdom, but do you have the kingdom of God? If you are in the kingdom of God, then this is inner peace. Romans fourteen seventeen says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, Jesus says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Do that first, then, if the Lord will, you'll have what you need to survive in the world. The ways of wisdom are ways of pleasantness and peace. Someone who is poor but has the Lord is a lot more at peace than a rich, big shot who don't have the Lord. Isaiah 26, 3 and 4 says, That will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. You'll be in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on the Lord on the things of God. Most rich people aren't happy. They are worried about their money. They're worried about the temporal things that vanish away, that moth and rust doth corrupt. And they can't feel that huge God-sized hole in their heart. But it says in Proverbs 3.18, She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. That's wisdom. What do rich men seek right now? They want eternal life. There is no peace in gaining the whole world without having the next life settled. That's why they want eternal life. They got the whole world. Now they want to get their next life settled, but they don't want to come to Jesus Christ for that. I believe they realize they have all this money and material possessions, and yet they can't take it with them. So they look for the fountain of youth. They look for obtaining eternal life while in these cursed bodies, whether that be through transhumanism or that be through adrenochrome. They would literally take the life of another if it meant they could double their life. That verse in Proverbs 3.18 said, Wisdom is a tree of life. A man with true wisdom finds out how to live forever. He finds out that eternal life is found in the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's the only place that it's found. Adam and Eve ate off the wrong tree. They went barking up the wrong tree. Eve tried to get wisdom from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That verse also said, Happy is everyone that retaineth her. Wisdom is something that must be retained. You can lose it. And that's a scary thought. 
You want to stay close enough to God that you don't backtrack and lose any wisdom that you've already gotten. But another benefit of walking with God is power. You'll have power with God. Proverbs 3.19 says, The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding he hath established the heavens. The same God who wrote 66 books of the Bible to you, the same God who wants to fellowship with you, the same God who died for you, is the same God who founded the earth by his wisdom and by understanding established the heavens. He has power. A benefit of walking with God is just getting to walk with him in general. Do you know people would pay large amounts of money to walk with their favorite celebrity? But the Lord desires to walk with you. Those celebrities don't even know you exist. Proverbs 3.20 By his knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. You read about in Genesis 7 when the great deeps were broken up. God is the one who was in control of the great deeps. Keeping them from falling and letting them fall. He is the one who keeps the hurricanes and tornadoes from going completely out of control. Jesus Christ is before all things, and by him all things consist. He is the head of the body, the church. The only reason you aren't going into spontaneous combustion right now is because he's keeping you from it. The only reason the entire universe doesn't just blow up is because he holds it together. Do you realize that if you walk with God, that you're walking with someone that's got everything together? Most people that you talk to don't have anything together. But God has it all together. He's got all the answers. He's keeping everything all together. What's another benefit of walking with God is grace. Proverbs 3, 20 through 21. By his knowledge, the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So don't let knowledge, wisdom, and discretion depart from your eyes. It's the grace of God that he gave you the gift of the word of God that you have 24-7 access to in this country that you live in. You go to Walmart, the word of God is on the shelf. You go to the doctor, you have the word of God on the table, in hotels, on your phone, at your church, on your computer, at your grandma's house, and it should be in front of your eyes. God has it fixed to where you can literally look at the words of God any time that you want to. Don't let them depart from your eyes. Proverbs 3.22 says, so shall, thy, so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Where do you find eternal life? In the words of God. Jesus said, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. They are grace to thy neck. The words of God, the wisdom of God, it's grace to thy neck. This is because your neck gets harder and harder when you sin, but God has grace for your neck. There is a lot of hard neck Christians, but they can come back and fellowship with the Lord if they just will. He won't make you. Just because you're saved doesn't mean the Lord automatically makes you live right. It's still a choice. You have the same sinful flesh that you had before you were saved. You can live for the flesh or you can walk with God. And then you get the benefits of walking with God. You got benefits if you're saved. But then you get even more benefits if you walk with him after you're saved. Another benefit of not just eternal salvation, not just salvation itself, but a benefit of walking with God is eternal safety. Proverbs 3, 23, Then thou shalt walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Not only are, are you eternally secure once you get saved you can't lose your salvation you have eternal security whether you walk with god or not but if you walk with god on this earth you're going to be you're going to have eternal security you know your afterlife is going to be fixed but you also know that the lord's going to take care of you in this life if you live right in this life it says then thou shalt walk in thy way safely and thy foot shall not stumble for a while I got to go where I got to where I was nervous driving on my road in the mornings. You have tractor trailers flying towards you and it's dark and deers jumping out in front of you all the time. But if you realize God is your safety net, then it keeps you calm. You realize you just don't have 
eternal security for the afterlife, but you have eternal security in this present life. If the trunk, truck comes over in your lane, then to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I mean, all that truck can take away from me is this present evil life that I'm in right now. I used to have a job where I worked up high off the ground. I would get worried that my foot would stumble and I would fall. But if you realize the Lord is your safety net and everything in this life is temporal, then you'll be a lot less nervous. You have safety in this present temporal life and not just in the eternal life. You'll still be nervous, but it really puts a dent in it when you realize that God is your eternal safety net. Proverbs 3.24 When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. As a kid, you were afraid to go to bed in the dark. You were afraid of things that weren't even there. Well, they may be there, but it's not anything you can see with your natural eyes. But if you realize that the Lord is with you, then you won't be afraid of what's in the closet and what's under your bed. You will lay down and your sleep will be sweet. You'll finally go to bed without worrying about something. A lot of times people put things before their eyes that bring them unnecessary fear. Remember it said not to let the wisdom and knowledge and discretion depart from thine eyes. So if you're watching Jeepers Creepers before bed, then you're putting fear in your mind that shouldn't be there. The Lord doesn't give us the spirit of fear. The news can even put unnecessary fear in you that shouldn't be there a lot of times. You need to realize that God is your eternal safety net. Proverbs 3.25, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. You have to love this verse. It says don't be afraid of sudden fear. Sometimes fear takes you by surprise. It sneaks up on you. Fear is a lack of trust and confidence in the Lord. And when you get sudden fear, let it leave just as quick as it came. Even if you have to remember this verse here in Proverbs 3.25, which says not to be afraid of sudden fear. And it says, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. The things written in the book of Revelation shows you the desolation of the wicked in the tribulation and at the second coming. And it is some scary things. But you have to remember those things aren't coming on you if you're a Christian. There is no need to fear. You are on the winning side. Proverbs 3.26 For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. So you can hang your feet out from under the covers at night and don't have to worry about the boogeyman snatching your feet up. Even if he did, all he can do is kill the body. And I know that's all big talk right now, but it's still the truth. If we could all look at it like that, then fear would leave. All men in this world can do is take my stuff and kill my body. They can't take my soul. They can't take my fellowship with God. They might take my Bible, but they can't take what I had already hidden in my heart. But these have just been a few benefits of walking with the Lord.